Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to set up an out-of-the-park baseball game, although what they call a game is really a career. It's really a number of seasons, potentially. I'm going to set one of those up because I think with out-of-the-park baseball, the setup is almost as fun as like actually playing the games. Now, if you're not familiar with out of the park baseball, you buy it. It's in one respect, it is way, way better than Stratomatic. And that is in the fact that you buy the game and it has every historical team up and league and season up until that point from dating back to like 1871. So you have the 1871 season up through the 2020 season because this is out of the park 21, which is great. Where I think this game falls a little bit is, and this is just my opinion, if others have played out of the park, let me know in the comments what you think. But I think as far as realism for um, duplicating the realistic stats from whatever given season you're doing, I think it falls a little flat. The results are not usually, they don't seem to be the way that they would be in that actual season, whereas Stratomatic is a lot more realistic in that respect. But as you know, with Stratomatic, you have to buy every single season. Any season you have in Stratomatic, you have to buy it separately so that's where the difference is um and the graphics the graphics in this game are great awesome graphics but anyway let's get on with starting a new season so we're gonna see you see right here 1871 to 20 okay 2019 so this game goes up through 2019 i'm gonna do a new historical game I, I don't know what challenge is, but I'm not going to play in challenge mode anyway. We're going to do career so that when I do my, when I finish my season, I, you know, we just go on to the next season. We go to all the off season prep and all that stuff. And I'm going to do the 1979 season because that was one of my favorite seasons ever. So we're doing 1979. And it has to load everything. And I was playing with this before. So if you wonder why, oh, you know, everything almost seems to be set up for him already. It's because I was playing with it prior to this. But I wanted to do the setup. I wanted to do the actual setup of a season that I would do for the channel. I wanted to do the setup on, on camera. Okay, so uh, real life transactions and lineups, we're not going to do that because I want to see, you know, whatever team I take, like if I get stuck with a bad team that's bad in the future, I want to make sure that the computer GM has a chance to actually make the team better than that. But I do want to have a triple A, real triple A, uh, real double A. And that's another thing. It actually will load the actual minor leagues from the time. And you will, as you progress through the seasons that you play, you will um, have the actual minor leaguers in your system. So that's what we're, we're going to have. Triple A, double A, class A. I don't need to go below that. Um, yeah, automatically expand the league when the league needs to expand, hold an expansion draft, um, enable automatic import of financial settings. We'll do that too. Uh, recalculate player ratings before each season using real stats. That that's fine with me. Okay. So. Now you see here, scouting accuracy. Um, huh. I can set this. All right, 20 to 80, I suppose. Uh, 
no fictional pictures, uh, face color mode normal. And this is just normal run of the mill stuff here. Okay, you see, I got, I've already got my name in. Now, I'm, I had myself born in 1925 because right now I am 54 years old. So to be 54 years old in 1979, I would have had to be born in 1925. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, in my role, I'm going to be just the manager. That's all I want to be because I don't like messing with the money. I find it very frustrating in this game to manage the money and the trades. You can't really trade for the players you want because the other team always wants too much, it seems like. And when you try to sign somebody, when you say, yeah, I want to re-sign this player, they inevitably always say, well, you only you don't have enough money to sign this player. You would have to blah, blah, blah. And I mean, I just don't want to go through all those hoops. So I'm just going to be the manager and I'm just going to be responsible for on the field, what happens on the field. And I'll let the GM um, be worried about, you know, what players were getting and that sort of thing. Now, I could pick a team, but I'm not going to do that. I want the computer to assign me a job as manager of whatever team, because I think that's a lot more fun. It's like the luck of the draw. You get what you get the team that the computer um, offers you a job for, and that might actually even be a minor league team. I may only get a minor league offer, but I hope I don't. I, let's hope that I get a major league team. Um, I suppose I could keep doing this until we got a major league offer, but I'm just hoping that I do get a major league offer. Now you can see right here, I've got boxes I can check like play in commissioner mode and the commissioner mode allows you to control other teams and edit players. You have complete control over your game. For a bigger challenge, try disabling the commissioner mode. So yeah, you don't wanna do, I'm not doing commissioner mode. And you also have, cannot be fired. Um, the ultimate in job security, I keep my job forever until I don't want the job anymore, but I'm not going to do that either. I want the computer to feel free to fire me if they feel I need to be fired. So I'm going to say start unemployed and then, um, we'll say start the game and yeah, let's see. I guess it, well, I guess it has me as unemployed. So it's loading everything now. Um, and yeah, we'll see when it comes up, when it finally gets done loading everything, we'll see what team I'm being offered a job. Oh, I mean, hopefully, ideally, I'll get offered a job by multiple teams. But as I've said, I've already kind of experimented with this a little bit. And in both experiments, I only got one offer. So we will see what team ends up wanting to sign Bob Zolke as its manager, on-field manager. Best decision they could ever make. So we will see. But it's yeah, loading, calculating, historical leaderboards, you know, it does all this stuff. There, you know, you have to wait for it to go through some of the gyrations. And some of them it already went through, like I said, because I've already kind of set it up. It is a cool game, and I decided I would get it just to have some variation that I could play on my channel. Um, you know, instead of just always doing the Stratomatic. Plus, the graphics on this are great. Like, if you watch the Stratomatic computer games, or even the card and dice games. All right, I've got a message. Uh-oh. I only got a job from the Jersey City Nationals. So, um, so this would be a Cleveland Indians affiliate. So let's see. All right, I guess I'll accept the job. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, I'm managing the Jersey City Nationals. 
And I'm all right with that because I'm not going to televise a lot of games anyway. I'm just going to televise games every once in a while. But, you know, for reference in the future, when I'm doing an out of the park minor league game, it's because I have um, the uh, it's because this setup gave me a minor league team. This is really weird because the first two times I did it, I got. I got an offer from the St. Louis Cardinals and an offer from the um, Cleveland Indians. But now I get an offer from the Cleveland Indians minor league team. They're like, yeah, all right. You wanted to quit that other season? Well, guess what? So, um, and then you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Like um, you can go to manager options and pick picture functions and import uh, photo file or... Let's see. No, new fictional picture. This is what I do. I do new fictional picture. And then I try to get um, try to get one as close to looking like me as possible. Although none of them really do. Let's see. Uh, right, that's kind of, let's see, now we got to put a beard on him. Uh, set beard style. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? How about brawny? Yeah, and I got a little gray in there, too. But, let's see, I'm going to go with brown. Let's go with brown, though. Hair color. Brown. And it's still got the gray in there, though. That's nice. All right. So, um, anyway, even if I don't continue on with this season, although it might be a cool idea to see what happens in a career where I start as a minor league manager... Um, I mean, what other game can you do that in, right? Um, let's see here. High color is blue. And then, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, now we go to the, the Nationals team, team home screen. You can see what the record would be and everything. Um... Let's see, where do we go here? Lineups and pitching depth. And you really should notice some of the players. Like Bo Diaz. He, you remember Bo Diaz, he played Major League Ball. So, uh, let's see, position all batters. Let's say all batters. Well, this is the only two we've got. Well, and I'm obviously the general manager is going to have to fix that. All player. All right, here we go. We, yeah, see, now you got Wayne Garland. You got Eric Wilkins. All right. I, yeah, Eric, I think Eric Wilkins played Major League Ball. Larry Anderson definitely played Major League Ball. So it's not like I'm not managing Major Leaguers because I will be. Um, but so far, as far as batters, we've only got Bo Diaz and Horace Speed. So they're going to, in fact, Horace Speed might have actually played. I'm not sure. But actually, the you know, obviously the general manager is going to have to um, get on that because I am not the general manager. So you go to front office. Uh, here's some stats on me. Uh, inexperienced. Lifetime record zero and zero. Making $16,000 through 1981. Pitching coach is Pat Durand, and the hitting coach is J.P. Siriano. So, uh, let's see here. Strategy. Now, you can move these, uh, you know, these sliders to be, you know, what kind of base, uh, what kind of strategy you want the game to run. I assume when you are just quick simming games, which we will do. Um, let's do some of my tendencies. Um, you squeeze, play, bunt. I would almost never do that. Um, 
sacrifice bunt. I don't like to sacrifice bunt, so I would almost never do that. Hit and run, probably normal. Base running, maybe a little right of aggressive. Base, uh, stealing bases. I don't really know the player personnel, so I really can't say that I would be middle of the road stealing bases. Um, pitching a defensive strategy, pitch around. I might be just a little right of that, you know, willing to do that. Intentional walks would be almost never. I don't like intentional walks. Playing the infield in, I don't, I'm not a big fan of playing the infield in. Use infield shifts. I, uh, probably just a little right of that. I'm not a big fan of the shifts, but even though the statistics tell you that they work, Hook, <clears throat> hook starting pitchers, I'm actually for letting starting pitchers go uh, as long as possible. Hook relievers, actually I want even relievers to get some time out on the mound. I don't like pulling relievers quickly. Favor lineup lefty-righty matchup, well, yeah, you want to do that. And probably a little more than that. Um, pinch hit for pitchers. I will do that when I need to, certainly. Uh, pinch hit for position players. I am not that big of a fan of doing that, but it, of course it depends on the player, but, and then use pinch runners. <clears throat> not a big fan of that. I don't think it really gets you much, especially if you do it with like two outs. Um, and then, of course, up here you can, uh, well, yeah, I mean, you can, uh, for your adjusting strategy for early in the game, innings one through six. Um, all right, early in the game. Base stealing, I would say, you know, most of these things still wouldn't change. Um, yeah, I, I really wouldn't change a lot of these things, no matter what. Um, the hook strategy actually would be like really slow. I would not want to replace my starter in innings one through six. Um, yeah, all right. So now late, we've got the late strategy and uh, that would, with the starting pitchers seventh and eighth, I would, we back that off a little bit because then by that time I might be ready to take the pitcher out. Still the same with the relievers though. I wouldn't really want to pull relievers very quickly. Um, so yeah, all times. Now seventh and eighth, close. Seventh and eighth, the score being very close. Now I would probably almost never steal. Um, base running, I would get uh, probably a little more aggressive. Hit and run, probably less aggressive. Sacrifice bunt would be probably never. Um, pitch around. I might be a little more apt to pitch around somebody late. Intentional walk, I might be a little more apt to pitch around or uh, intentionally walk somebody. Playing the infield in, I guess you would have to say you need to be a little more open to that idea. Use infield shifts, it still would be about the same. Hook the starting pitcher. 
and now you're like really hooking the starting pitcher. You're really willing to do that. And even the relievers, you would want to bring in the appropriate reliever. Favor the matchup left and right. You still want to do that. Pinch hit for pitchers. You want, still want to, well, probably even more so. And then uh, pinch hit for position players still wouldn't do that. And pinch runners, no. So, um, so there's some of the, the strategy settings I have in. And supposedly these would carry into when I um, actually start doing a start doing a season so starting in the made in the minors as the um jersey city nationals man got i gotta move to jersey um so let's see here what is this oh this is the league So let's see. So we're in with the Baton Rouge Scorpions, the Jackson Rockets, the Tampa Bay Arrows, the Scott Township Wranglers, and the High Ridge Schooners. And is there another team? And the Kenton Swordfish. Can't forget the Kenton Swordfish. So um, I am going to. I'm just going to sim, uh, let's see, review depth charts to continue behavior can be tailored to your game configure. Okay. Uh, let's, so let me, let me go, let's go to a game. that I can quick sim. Well, it said spring training begins, but I don't see any games. Let's go back up to spring training begins. Do you want to play to the selected date? Yes. Like to inform you, we have made some roster moves that involve players from your team. Here is a breakdown. Uh, e. Wilkins to the Major League Cleveland. Horace Speed to the Major League Cleveland. Whitehall to the Major League Cleveland. Lost relief pitcher. Larry Anderson to Major League Cleveland. Okay, maybe I won't be managing Major Leaguers. Lost Bo Diaz to Major League Cleveland. Lost starting pitcher Wayne Garland to Major League Cleveland. Yeah, the general manager. It's, it's like, thank you. I, I just took you. I just, <laughs> I just stripped down your team. So let's see how you do with a stripped down team. Um, what is this? Manager's office. Um, hmm. All right. Auto play until the next game. So it's calculating what happened. Now I've got my settings in. So even if it quick plays games that I don't generally want to, I'd like to inform you we've made some roster moves that involve players from your team. Received Wayne Gardland from Cleveland. Received Wilkins from Cleveland. Received Whitehall from Cleveland. I guess it was uh, they were just up for spring training maybe. So anyway, I don't know. I'm, it seems like I'm getting all these guys back now. So um, anyway, you get the idea. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I should, the setup is generally the same no matter what um, season you want to pick and what team, even if you want to take a specific team, although it might be kind of fun to manage a minor league team. But you get the idea. Um, it is a great game. So, let me... Uh, well, in sometime in the future, I will put up an actual game to show you the graphics. Um, and then maybe at some point I'll, I'll scrap this season and wait until I get a major league team. But we'll see, you know, 
I'll just put games up from time to time. It won't be like the 1955 season that I'm doing with um, the Senators with Stratomatic, because with that, I do nearly, like, I, I do quite a few games. Um, so far, I've been doing at least um, two games from each series all through the season. And once we have played everybody and you've seen all of the teams in that season, then I'll skip maybe a couple series and then I'll pick up with another series because there was only nine, ten teams in the American League in 1955. So you see all the teams really quickly. But anyway, you get the idea. Here you can check different subscriptions you want, um, you know, subscribing to the type of news that you want. Um, I don't really, some of this I don't need. Minor league awards I don't care about. Um, so anyway, you get the idea. It's a great game and it only costs $20. $20 and you get every season that was ever played up until, if you buy out of the park 21 up until 2019. So it is kind of cool. Um, I like it. I just, like I said, I think the actual real, the on, actual on the field realism of the players statistics, I don't think is quite up to par because they rate the players on, um, let, let me see if I can get you that player list. So let, let's, let's look at Wayne Garland. So you see, this is what they do. They rate the players on a, on a scale. They give them a rating. So like Wayne Garland, and I think it's from 20 to 80. So Wayne Garland is like a 40 for stuff on 20 to 80. He's uh, 45, 55 on movement from 20 to 80. His fastball is a 35 on a scale of 20 to 80. So that's kind of how they do it. They don't like they don't they don't use statistics to translate directly to how the player does. Now, in some ways, that's good because you will get statistics based on these skill sets and you may have the player might over way overperform he might way underperform and then when you go to the next season i would assume the way because of the way we set it up i would assume that when you go to the next season his slider scales here are based on what he did the season before so if he has a particularly good season then the next season you're going to get the benefit of that on different slider ratings now anybody that knows anything about out of the park baseball if that's not correct let me know let me, again let me know in the comments how you guys like this um it is um it is different and and here we can see that uh, wayne garland was born october 26th i was born on october 20th but uh he was born in actual 1950 and i was actually born in 66 but anyway so you get the idea. Um, it is a cool game and I'm looking forward to playing it. But for right now, I think I have bored you enough with all the setup and the, you know, whatever the minutia of the game. And so that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.